the concept of creating a state, this nationalism, flies in the face of this Jewish teaching. But what do the Zionists care? They've taken God out of the equation. They do not have any, feel any responsibility to God. Unfortunately, they originally planned to make their state in Uganda and Argentina. Anybody could read the minutes of their meetings in Basel, Switzerland in the 1890s. But they realized that they would not be able to get the backing of the Jewish people throughout the world, what we would call the ignorant masses, the people who th know that Jews yearn and that we yearn for the return to Palestine, but they're ignorant of what that means. They're ignorant of that our yearning doesn't mean a piece of land. Our yearning means to return when all humanity in harmony will serve God. So they bought into, Zionists decided to pick Palestine for their nationalism, and they knew that the Jewish people who are ignorant around the world will buy into their concept that they're the beginning of redemption. Even though these people were non-religious, openly detested religion, how I, what a farce that is. This would be forbidden to us in an uninhabited land. But this terrible crime and tragedy of the creation of the state is compounded thousandfold, being that the state was created in an occupied land where their Palestinian people were living, the vast majority of people living there were Muslims and Christians also living there. So to create this nationalism, this state, committed thievery, murder, expelling people, subjugating people, this is all against Torah and the commandments. We around the world who are true to God and his Torah, who, who are true to the Torah, we feel the suffering. Our hearts cry for the suffering of the Palestinian people. Worldwide, there are hundreds of thousands of Jews, wherever there is a very religious neighborhood, who feel and are frustrated and are humiliated by what is being done in our name, in the name of Judaism, to the Palestinian people. In fact, if you would look at our site, which is nkusa.org and like sites, links to that, you would see that Jews are beaten and they also suffer under the hands of these rebellious people, these people who took God out of their lives. And they realize that the whole issue of Zionism is to uproot godliness. And whatever is being done is evil and is not the representation of what we've accepted on Mount Sinai. There is many people who would want to stand up and express th their feelings and support for Palestinian people, but Zionism is very efficient in their intimidation. For non-Jews, they call them anti-Semites. For the Jews, we're self-hating Jews, we're ridiculed, attacked physically in, in Jerusalem and throughout Palestine, occupied Palestine. You can see pictures on our sites how people are constantly being brutally beaten. And throughout the world, we are constantly intimidated and attacked. In order to be able to bring a resolution, a solution, a remedy to a sickness, one must to understand what the sickness is a doctor to prescribe a medicine, he must be able to understand what the sickness is. The root cause of all suffering in the Holy Land, in occupied Palestine, is nothing less or nothing more than pure political Zionism. It is not a religious conflict. We, as I've mentioned and said, we've been living for hundreds of years together, practicing our religions, side by side. We give an example, a, a, a fellow went to a doctor and said, you know, I feel that I'm building a resistance to my neighbor's roses. My neighbor has roses, a field of roses, 
and I feel I'm coughing and wheezing for already six months and I can't take it, give me some type of cure. So the doctor says to him, how long does your neighbor have these roses? Oh, he says, all the years. He's been growing roses for 50 years and more. And the doctor smells that this guy, it, there's an a, a odor of cigarette smoke. He's reeking of cigarettes. So he said, how long are you smoking? He said, well, I'm smoking like eight, nine months. And how long are you wheezing? Six months. So he said, you, you're a chain smoker. Maybe it's because of the cigarettes that you're smoking. The guy had roses for years, you had no problems. You've taken up cigarette smoking and you're wheezing. So he said, doctor, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Give me something against these roses. We Jews have not developed a resistance to our cousins, the Muslims and the Arabs throughout the world. But we are definitely allergic to Zionism. This is the root cause and the sole cause of the rift and all the suffering that is going on. This is the new neighbor, the newcomer to the neighborhood. It's Zionism. Since Zionism has come, we've suffered. Hundreds of years, the religions have been the same. We haven't had any problems. So anybody who is logical understands. Take this out of the equation, and we can once again live in peace. So let us all pray for this, to God, the Almighty, who wants good and says that if you will go against him, you will not be successful. And the only way is to follow the teachings of the Lord, of the God, and that will bring the true peace. So let us all concentrate and pray for the speedy and peaceful dismantlement of the entire state of Israel, where we should have a free Al-Quds, a free Jerusalem, a free entire Palestine, so we can once again live in harmony. And that will end the exacerbation of anti-Semitism. We feel the blood and the suffering of Muslims, Christians, Arabs, Jews, all that is happening because of this. And let us all know that God is with us and gain strength from that. And let us all pray for the day when the true revelation of God will come, where all humanity will recognize the one God, and there will be harmony and peace throughout the world. There will be a global peace and unity soon in our days. Amen. Assalamu alaikum.